Triple A credits are right. Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the inner lane. Twenty four twice. She's on the phone, but she's staying on. Will shop full of art. Old dreams dying hard. We want you to return. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. We are back from London and as you can see I have very dark brows. As some of you might know I touched up my microblading with my friend Nessa San. She did such a good job but they are very fresh so they are very dark right now. They always look a little bit darker as they're healing. They kind of like get darker day by day and then eventually it starts to fade and then it actually goes pretty light and a few days after that the pigment starts to show through so that's going to be like the final color but we did use the same color that i had last time so they're going to be approximately the same just a little bit fuller and more defined especially here in this area where i was missing a few strokes but yeah i went to her new studio in london she just opened i think it was like a year ago this new location and it's so beautiful if you guys are ever in london or if you live in the uk and you want to get your brows microbladed she is the person to go to she does all the big celebrities her work is just so incredible i found her about five years ago now and when i first saw her work i fell in love i loved how she did the strokes so beautifully like artistically her work is so beautiful and of course you're working on someone's face and that's not always easy but i also really loved the tones and the colors that she chose i feel like she has a really good eye for that so she first did my brows back in 2017 i also also vlogged that experience I can actually have that video linked for you down below if you want to check it out and then she topped up my brows I think two times since then so I think this is my third time now but yeah she is just incredible so we did a top up of microblading some of you guys have asked if it hurts and yes it's definitely not painless but it's not not painful either um it is kind of like a tattoo like a um, semi-permanent tattoo so she uses a blade and she dips it in the ink and then she makes the stroke so it is essentially cutting your skin and putting the pigment within the skin so that does her and she does go over it a couple of times to really make sure that it's set and in place so that's a little bit uncomfortable but it's nothing unbearable it's nothing that you need to be too worried about and there's really no better feeling than having your brow done they frame your face really well I feel like they open up your eyes it just makes you feel a lot more put together and fresh without you know even having to do that much so if you've ever thought about doing microblading I would highly highly recommend it and she is finally accepting new clients she was really booked out for a while like years in advance but she is accepting new clients right now so if you guys want to reach out to her I will have her Instagram and her email down below but yeah in other news today we are hosting a little dinner party at our apartment just for another of our two friends who are a couple so we are inviting them and I thought I would share with you guys a little bit of how I'm gonna set up how I'm gonna do the table and some of the food that I'm gonna make little appetizers and things like that I thought it would be fun to share with you guys and then tomorrow I am rearranging my closet from summer to fall and winter that's something that I love to do every year because I really like to keep my closet like quite minimal and very functional because we do have four pretty like different seasons so there's no need for me to have like my summer dresses in the fall and winter that I won't ever wear I like to take those out and make space for my coats and jackets and just have like again when I open my closet that it's functional so that I'm not like having to sort through too many things to find what I need and what I want to wear and it's the first time that I'll be doing that kind of switch in this new apartment so that's the plan for this video on the topic of clothes and something that is so important all year round is a great bra and i have found the most incredible one it is hands down the most comfortable bra i have ever worn and i love the innovative technology behind this the brand is called naywai and i have partnered up with them for this haul so they are a luxury lingerie and loungewear brand and their whole concept is to make clothes that feel amazing 
they are inspired by an authentic compassion and care for women. They believe that women deserve comfort and support and they deliver that with their made to live in products. My favorite bra is the one that I'm wearing today. This is from their Barely Zero collection and it's the one with the thinner straps. And this is made from their super soft and innovative fabric called their Cloud Fit fabric, which conforms to nearly anyone from size A to double D. It is so comfortable and stretchy and adaptive to your body and that's their whole concept is your size is the size which removes so much stress and anxiety when it comes to shopping for underwear especially for bras so you don't have to worry about the specific cup or size you should wear you just order online and it just so the Barely Zero range will also adapt with you as you go through different stages of life. Even during our cycle, our bra size can change, so it's very adaptive. Whether you lose weight, gain weight, become a mom, this is a bra that adapts with you through all stages of life, and it is so comfortable. I cannot stress that enough. The fabric is called Cloud Fit Fabric, and it really does feel like a cloud. It doesn't even feel like you're wearing anything. They are really made to live in, and you can wear these from work to home you can even work out in them and i love how seamless they look under clothes as well so they're super versatile and they come in lots of great colors as well the fabrics themselves are really high quality and again i love the innovative technology and how easy it is to find a bra that will fit you they also have some beautiful lounger pieces as well that are also made from incredible fabrics i have this really cute beige three-piece set that i love from them i will show you guys a clip of it here but again they're barely zero collection of bras is one definitely worth checking out that's the black of course i also love this color which is like a dusty rosy pink clay color also very very nice the cups are removable so you can take those out if you prefer if you guys want to try any of their items you can get 20 percent off by clicking the link down below in the description box and using code annie at checkout again that will get you 20 percent off anything on their site i think you guys are really going to like these as well so again i'll make sure to have all the information down below in the description box Okay, the table is all set, it looks so nice. And I also got these beautiful flowers. Went for a little pop of orange for fall. Looks so, so pretty. There's also some roses in there and some lilies, which always smell so incredible. This is actually one of my favorite ways to scent a home. You know, once in a while, it's so nice to get fresh lilies and they just smell so incredible and they're pretty strong. So I feel like they really fill up a space nicely. So part of our starters are gonna be some bruchetta. So I'm just gonna start preparing the tomatoes right now. So I'm gonna need some tomatoes, a few pieces of fresh garlic, and then some fresh basil. This smells so good. Salt and pepper, and then of course a little bit of olive oil, some balsamic vinegar. I'm going to toss that all in here just so that that is ready. Let that marinate a little bit, and then we've got some fresh baguette here. I'm gonna toast this a little bit in the oven before I serve this, but yeah, I just wanna get this done already. And then I'm also going to start preparing the broccoli. I'm gonna roast these in our air fryer so they're gonna get nice and like crispy. I did also just sharpen my knife because Cutting tomatoes is no joke, <laughs> especially for bruschetta since they need to be, you know, very small. Um, I just use a knife sharpener from Amazon, would highly recommend it. We'll have it linked for you guys down below.
much ready. I've got the potatoes in the oven. The broccoli is prepped, ready to go into the air fryer. I have the bruschetta ready, the tomatoes, and then I've just got to pop the baguette in. I've got some nuts I'm gonna warm, some olives, chips. I'm gonna serve those in little dishes. The salmon is also ready to go into the oven. We're gonna have grilled salmon with the potatoes, the broccoli, and then a few starters, kind of like little appetizers, and then we have dessert ready too. We got some really nice little tarts with some chocolates. So everything is pretty much set and ready to go. I'm going to freshen myself up, change my outfit, and relax a little bit before everything really begins. I'm now just preparing the baguette for our bruschetta. It's gonna go into the oven. It's gonna get nice and toasty. Is it bruschetta or is it bruschetta? I think it's bruschetta. Okay, so every Italian here, let us know. They actually said for best results to turn the olive oil face down. Yeah. And then cook it like that or bake it like that. Yeah, because the hard part gets it. down. You clip it when you serve. What else have you prepared here? We also have some rosemary baby potatoes. These are already baked. I'm just going to pop them in the oven just to reheat them um, before mm. we're ready to eat. Mm -hmm. And then here I'm going to warm up these nuts in the oven. We've got some olives, some chips. Um, we're going to put some cheese in there, the nuts. We have our lights here. Do you see that? Wait, there. All around the apartment we have lights. It's so cozy. And we have candles here, candles there, candles there, candles here, a little bit of our essence here, which are from Villa Medici, really good ones. It is the next day and I'm in our closet. I'm about to do my wardrobe change. It's always something that's really fun for me to do this kind of wardrobe change because it really does like set the tone for this season and gets me more excited for the new weather. Of course, I'm not the biggest fan of like pure winter when it's really cold, but fall is always a great time for fashion. So I do look forward to that. I'm gonna start by emptying this out. And then these two wardrobes right here, this is where I have all of my uh, dresses and very summery things. I've also got some stuff in this bag. So let's start with the suitcase. Triple A, credits are right. Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the inner leg. 24 twice. She's on the phone, but she's staying on Will Shop Boulevard. Old dreams dying hard. We want you to return this love. Another reason I really love doing this is so that I can actually go through my items and donate anything that I am no longer wearing. So there are certain things in here that I've had for a few summers that I still haven't really worn. So I just prefer to give those things to somebody who you know, could actually use them more instead of them, you know, just sitting in my closet. So I'm gonna do that right now.
Okay, we are all done with the wardrobe update and it feels so good. So this is where I used to have all of my summer dresses and as you can see, it's now updated with my coats, jackets. I do have a few others that I've just put into the wardrobe by our front door because as you can see here, space is kind of limited and these jackets are like big and fluffy, so they take up a lot of space. Um, but yeah, here are the jackets. I do have to go and get these dry clean because as you can see, they're a little bit dirty from last year, so that's gonna feel nice to get those refreshed. Same thing with my coats. And then here I've actually decided to hang my pants, my jeans. I used to have these folded, but I really like to have as many things as possible hanging because I feel like it's just a lot easier to see what I have, to find things, and it gives it more of like a boutique kind of vibe, which I think is always really nice. So I have them hanging there. And then I also updated this space right here. So I actually used to have my tops and shirts and blouses over on this side, and then my jackets and blazers were on the top, but I, feel like I use these things more, especially this section, and this is more kind of eye level, so I just decided to switch it up, and I also rearranged my tops. Before, they used to be all color coordinated, which they kind of still are, but now they're also organized by like more simple, kind of staple everyday t-shirts and vests and things like that, which I now have here all in one spot, and then these are more like specialty kind of blouses, you know, like more special kind of tops so i now have all of those in one section and then when i need to look for like a simple kind of everyday top i know exactly where to find them so i really like this new setup and then at the bottom here i've got some more of my jackets some blazers denim jackets and um, things like that so those are all down there now and I cleaned all of these spaces out as well you know especially these surfaces they can get pretty dusty with all the clothes and all of that so feels really good to have cleaned all of that out I also ended up putting away about four big bags of clothes which feels so good I think that's so important to do from time to time just going through your things seeing what you're really wearing and if you haven't worn something in a long time just donating it to somebody I feel like that's always really good you know like why having it just sit in my closet if somebody else might actually really be using it and i feel like it's really good just for your mental health too like for your mind to have less things and less clutter and also when you do go in your wardrobe you're really excited about the things that you actually have and you want to wear everything so yeah i hope that that maybe inspired some of you guys to go through your own things it always feels so refreshing to do that especially in the beginning of a new season anyway i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching make sure to check the description box down below for links recipes anything that i mentioned my naywai pieces everything will be listed and linked for you guys down below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one Mwah. bye guys